Why the hard ass? Good evening. All right, it is October 18th, 545 p.m. and we are going to call this finance committee meeting to order. Present are council members Lang, Harris, Blake, Marmy, and Labudas filling in in the uh, vacant seat. Um, first item on the agenda is a request for appropriation in the amount of $6,824. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. I think all these first ones are all safe and re related. Uh, this one is uh, for the fire department. They need to transfer some money there. Uh, non uniform employee, there wasn't enough money uh, budgeted. She got a pay raise in the middle of the year. So they need to move some funds around so they can uh, get her paid up through the end of the year. Okay, yeah. So this first one's actually a disappropriation in the amount of six thousand eight hundred twenty-four dollars, and we do an appropriation uh, for the same amount for the other items. Any questions and or comments? Second. Motion by Lang, second by Harris. Any further questions and or discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. That motion passes 5-0. I'd entertain a motion for the appropriation in the amount of $6,824. So moved. Second. Motion by Lang, second by Labudas. Questions and or discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. That motion passes 5-0. Thank you very much. Are you here for the next one too? I think I request, got the next three. Okay, request for appropriation in the amount of $2,705.63. Yes, sir. Again, this is the fire department. Excuse me. They sold a 2005 on Gov deals and would like to appropriate that money so they can purchase some additional equipment for the division. Second. Motion by Labudas, second by Lang. Questions and or discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, same sign. That motion passes 5-0. Next item is a request for appropriation in the amount of $1,851.50. This one is a police department. They received some uh, private donations for the for the purchase of equipment, and so they like to appropriate that funds so we can make those purchases. Second. Motion by Lang, second by Labudas. Questions and or discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, same sign. That motion passes 5-0. 
Uh, next item on the agenda is a request for appropriation in the amount of $771. Uh, this is the last one that I have, and it is also a fire department one. They got a, a rebate on naloxone, and their uh, air evac transports exceeded their uh, estimated revenues. So they would like to appropriate that money so they can buy some EMS supplies. Second. Motion by Lang, second by Labudis. All right, and this is come. This one's coming from the general fund, right? Yes, that's my understanding. Okay. So is this coming from the inappropriated balance? Of that one? That I, that I do not know. Let me see, hold on, let me look at this fund. Up. These fund numbers. So this is coming from the EMS, okay. You're okay. Thank you. Any further questions or comments? Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Lyon. Just looking at what we have in the packet. Is this section five of 2165? Correct. Okay. So we in the packet, we only went up to section four. So make sure we've got the legislation correct. It's, oh, I see I it on the agenda, but as I'm looking at the packet, the oh, okay. the, gotcha. Any other questions? Seeing that all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. That motion passes 5-0. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And none of those were expedited, so just so you're right. Right. Thank you. Okay, next item on the agenda, we're moving to the uh, 2166, which are being expedited. First item on the agenda is a request for appropriation of $17,200. Yeah, this is a health insurance for an employee. You know, apparently, after the understand the budget, it's done automatically as what they're what they'd accepted for their insurance. Uh, apparently, a, you know, a couple of our employees have changed what they are getting as far as insurance. And so we need to appropriate some more money in that department. Second. Motion by Lang, second by Labudis. Any questions and or comments? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. That motion passes 5-0. Next item on the agenda is a request for appropriation in amount of $12,000. Yeah, this is a fuel fund in our uh, sewer maintenance department. Uh, we're doing a significant amount of work on these projects as we see out here. So we've been running our back trucks and we're equipping a lot more than we have in years past. So uh, we're using a lot more fuel. And so that's what this is. It's the additional fuel that we need for these projects. Second. Motion by Lang, second by Harris. That's why. You had a general question just around all. Five sections here. What's the purpose for expediting these? For, for this one right here. Does this one need to be ex expedited? Or? Yeah, uh, it, it's going down to a zero balance. We pay that monthly. Gotcha. And so it has to be paid every month. So, so. I should have asked that on the, on the last one as well, but I'm assuming we need to get the same thing. Yeah. Any further questions? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. That motion passes 5 0. Next item on the agenda uh, request for appropriation in the amount of $169.02. Good evening. This is in reference to one of our grants that we received from the Department of Corrections. So, FY 2021 grant cycle is finished. So, we have to pay back to the state's money we didn't spend, so it was $169.02. Well, I'm Second. Motion by Lang, second by Labudis. Any questions and or comments? 
Mr. Glad. Uh, expediting this one because it's just timing with it's due seven. within 30 days. Gotcha. Yeah. I think it's a good job getting it that close. Thanks, <laughs> be honest. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Any further questions or comments? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. That motion passes 5 0. Thank you. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is a request for appropriation in the amount of $7,344. Yeah, this is a uh, super employee that has resigned to a job in Motor City. Uh, and so we need to pay him off for the contract. Well, second. Motion by Lang, second by Harris. Any questions and or comments? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, same sign. That motion passes 5-0. Next item on the agenda is a request for appropriation in amount of $22,093.94. Yes, this is uh, for the Joint Economic Development District out in Pasqua, and uh, this is money that uh, we, it's out of their fund. We were kind of a conduit for that and an uh, agent for it, as we did earlier. A few weeks back for the Jet Z one and two. This is for the Jet. Same idea, same cause. Second. Motion by Lang, second by Labudis. Yes, Mr. Lang. Uh, yeah, Mr. Mayor, um, just curious timing timing wise on this. Is this expedited because we need to? Yeah, it just takes the, the time of council going through, and it's because the funds to them, uh, while they're not always huge funds to us, and I don't mean that in their own way, it's a lot of funds to the recipients of those. So they kind of like to uh, get it as quick as they can. In many ways, so. Thank you. And since we are kind of a conduit of it flowing through, we probably should administrate it and hold it up if we have to. Thank you. Thanks. And since we're kind of getting paid a little bit of a percentage <laughs> to do this, we want to make sure we're doing a good job also. <laughs> there you go. So well said. Couldn't have said it better. Any further questions or comments? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. That motion passes 5 0. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is request for appropriation amount of $725,000. You win, Mr. Rhodes. You, uh, you're asking for the most. Your big teacher. <laughs> this, uh, this is a conversation that we have had uh, kind of ongoing uh, last six, eight months about extending the front of City Hall. And I spoke to Jeremy about it. I spoke to Doug about it. A few other council members. Um, we're going to move forward with that. And about twenty-five thousand dollars. These dollars are for some improvements down at the probation too. Oh. Second. Motion by Lang. Second by Labudis. Yes, Mr. Lang. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Director Rhodes. Um, again, just curious timing-wise for the project. When do you expect to start? How long do you think it'll take? After the appropriation is done, at that point we'll get together with contract with the contractor and uh, get that lined out. I would imagine a very early spring survey. I would not imagine something to wait through the winter. Okay. Um, will we, when we're working on that, are we going to have to configure something as far as getting into chambers for yeah. council meetings, things yeah. like that? You'll have access to council chambers, absolutely. And. Uh, We'll have to rearrange the front for employees out there to scan people in and out. Thank you. Any further questions or comments? And I'll keep everybody updated when I get that construction schedule. I'll get it out to you. Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. That Thank motion you. passes 5 0. Thank you very much, Director Rhodes. All right, one other item that I just want to bring to the attention, um, just to let you know the general fund, the unappropriated balance is $652.47. And with that, this meeting stands adjourned. All right. Uh, so up next is service. Um, and the tenants is uh, Mr. Harris, Mr. Parker, 
Mr. Blake, um, for Lidison, for Mr. Bob, Mr. Wall, are you ready? Yep. We got a presentation tonight from the Lexington County Parks District. <laughs> Thank you, Council. Richard Wall, Director of the Licky Park District. And I've been going out and uh, hopefully it's been earlier this year, but uh, giving a presentation on the Park District. And then we're, we're going to be on the ballot on November the 2nd. So I'll give you some facts and figures uh, about the ballot on November the 2nd. Uh, unfortunately, we're on the Zoom here. So my PowerPoint presentation is in the back. As I was just telling, Director Motter, that I can make this one hour, 45 minutes, or 15. So I'm assuming 15. that 15. If, he, 15. if he said that it went more than 15, I had to provide popcorn, and I don't have that. So um, I, I was um, appointed to be the director of the Licking Park District, uh, started in August the 30th of 2019. So it's been a little over two years. It's been a great gig. I've sat on that side of the table before, and usually that's all good stuff. Sometimes I get some tough questions to answer, but for the most part, it's, it's just a great day, and who, who can complain about the parts? I do want to give some kudos to Jeff Hodgkiss. He's done a fantastic job. We have worked together on a lot of different projects and, and things that are going on within Newark and Ricky County, and he's, he's a great employee. For that. So I hope you, that you understand that. Talking a little bit about the past, present, and future, and our mission statement is to acquire, preserve, manage the land in Licking County. So we want to make sure that we have open green spaces, we provide uh, parks throughout the county, and in addition to that, it provides health benefits or for exercise, it provides educational opportunities. A little bit of the history of the park district. 1862, that really floored me when I thought about that. That's in, that's in Civil War time. So it was the, the poorhouse and started out that people that came there for the poorhouse about 200 plus over 200 acres had to work. And so we had a working dairy farm, cattle farm, hog farm, and canned vegetables and fruits. So everybody uh, worked to eat and live. In 1969, uh, we closed it. It had morphed into uh, uh, more of a county kind of home. And, uh, and uh, all the patients in 1969 were transferred up to the TB Sanitarium in the Lippin County uh, home now for the health department. In 1970, we formally became with the High Revised Code a 1545 Park District, and our boundaries are Lippin County. In 1990, um, we, uh, the county commissioners actually took over the running of the park. And uh, we have done, they had done that until 2093 um, uh, when we took over as of 1545. And we still got our funding from the county, but we had our own uh, director like myself. In 2008, things crashed. We had a lot of um, uh, cutbacks from the rascals at the county, those commissioners that we have. And they said, you guys got to figure this out. We won on about seven times and failed, and on the eighth time in 2012, we got one fourth, one fourth of one bill levy, and that's what we've survived since 2012. We've been in business about 25 years as we are today. You all are responsible to 50,000 people in, in Newark, and I report to a, a board of five people. They were reported by the probate court. Uh, one of your members here, Mr. Lang's uh, uh, judge, Relationship there is the one that takes care of us. We have six employees plus me. And uh, so we're not heavy on the, uh, on the personnel side. We depend on volunteers a lot. I didn't realize how much volunteers made. You know, I'm a farm boy from Perry County. And my volunteerism is get a pickaxe out there and make, make trails and so forth. We have a lot of people that just monitor the trails. We have a lot of parks, a lot of acres, a lot of trails. We depend on volunteers to tell us, hey, there's a tree down here. Hey, there's a problem on the bike path. Hey, there's a safety issue that needs concern. And we've got people trained that they go out and whenever they take their hikes, they report back when there are issues in our parks and on our trails. 
We had uh, 3,850 volunteer hours last year in 2020. I did put in uh, on, on uh, your desk, you have a, a 2020 annual report and a 2019 annual report just to show you some of the things. I'm sorry, some of the people on this side didn't get the 2019 reports. I had a few left over, so they're better in your hands than in my, than my shelves in the back. But uh, pretty proud of that. I call that a brag book, uh, 2020. In addition to volunteers, uh, uh, I'd say that's one third of what we focus on. The other, another one third is programs and events. And that's everything from night hikes to uh, the uh, Harvest Moon Festival that we just had a couple of weekends ago. We had 1,800 people in the biggest ever. This COVID deal that we have, we have experienced since uh, March, uh, February, March of 2020, the parks have been packed full, everybody's parks, but especially the Lincoln Park District. We have people coming to programs that we've never had before. We've done all the Zoom things that we've had. If you haven't been on our website, go to the landing page, bottom right hand side, sign up for email newsletter. You get about an email once a week and it tells you what's going on in the parks. And there's some YouTube videos. And, and the YouTube videos were especially cool with the, uh, with the uh, bird banding because it's like seeing the highlight reels. So you don't have to watch the whole football game. Next day, you can just watch the highlights. On the bird banding, you're out there for three or four hours and you catch 12 birds and you go, mm -hmm. you weigh them, measure them, band them, record it all. And uh, here you just got about seven minutes and you get to see the full three hours. It, it, uh, and, it, and it's really astounding what you get to see there. The thing about programming is that we're not just the Licking Park District. We like to be a part of something larger. And the River Roundup has been around for several decades, two or three decades, and cleaned up the Licking River. And so locally, that's our expansion for programming. Every year, including this year, we pick up 300 plus tires out of the Licking River. I don't know how we do that, but I don't know how they all keep coming, but they do thousands of pounds of trash out of there. We do two other things on a larger scale basis for the state of Ohio with butterfly monitoring and the bird banding. You know, I had to be the director before I found out how important that stuff was. So we have volunteers that come once a week. They follow the same path. They count the species and the number of the butterflies. Our bird banding does it on a regular basis. Count the species, uh, uh, weigh them, measure them, and turn them into a bigger database. And it tells us in the state of Ohio what habitat needs to be improved in order to up our game to get more butterflies and more birds. Part of that because we have a relationship with U.S. Fish and Wildlife collaboration efforts, we just put in 36 acres of pollinator, uh, flowers, and prairie grass. And I'm not sure if Newark is responsible. So that's pretty cool looking stuff going uh, west out to Granville. Is that Newark that did that or ODOT? Dave? Yes. Is that Newark or ODOT that put in the pollinator flowers on 16? That was Newark. Newark was Newark. 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 They're we, awesome. We've got we've got a fair amount of them going in. As a matter of fact, Maritime met with uh, Buster Prince, who's overseeing that project uh, last late last week, and we've got probably ten different areas where we have those in. There's more going in over the overpass that we'll get these great. Yes, that's awesome. And we also have forty plus trees being planted on the highway. Awesome, and, and it it looks outstanding. It's it's up in the game for the city. It's, it's interesting, these birds, they, some of them go south. And, and uh, last year in 2020, the last, of, we don't have the numbers yet this year, uh, 27 recaptures out of a, ton, a total of 146 birds. Uh, the last thing that I bring to the parks, the last third that I say is project management, and that's improvement to our facilities and trails. <clears throat> this year, we worked with the city of Newark and we paid the total that the park district paid was five and a half miles on the TJ Evans Trail. We did uh, two very large sections with the city of Newark, $191,000 for the paving with Shelly Company, and had nothing but great things to response back from everybody that's been on that trail. Why did it take so long? But that's a different story. But we, we have been working there. In 20, uh, 2020, we paid four and a half miles. We manage, um, assist or manage fully about 46 miles of paved bike trail system. A lot of people equate the Lincoln Park District with the bike trail system. 
there's a lot more coming back. But, but that is something we take a lot of pride in and we work hard to make sure to keep those to the highest level that we can. We're in the midst of paving Ohio Canal Greenway, and we've got an ODOT TAP fund, which you're all aware of what that is, uh, for transportation without using um, uh, gasoline and motor vehicles or diesel driven motor vehicles. Buckeye Scenic Trail, uh, the only thing that we have in the hopper right now to extend our trails is to go from Lakewood High School down to Crystal Hills Road. Panhandle Trail, which we're working on uh, with the City of Newark and the Evans Foundation, uh, this past year we did seven. We, we the, the park district managed from Dayton Road East to Felony Road is 7.75 miles. We did get that crack filled and sealed this year. That's enough. That's a $34,000 improvement. Our parks uh, just got an email back from the Hebron Fish Hatchery. They're again dumping in 200 more catfish uh, fledglings. Uh, no, that's a part of the uh, catfish, small catfish. And uh, we have put in uh, three years worth of bass and bluegill. So now when you go out to fish, you take the kids, the grandkids, they catch something. Like we said, I don't care if you got a little kid, they catch a fish. I don't care whether it's this big. Lewis seems to exaggerate some of his fishing years. But if a kid catches a fish, it's a big deal. That's what I'm trying to do. So we will have a management agreement with ODNR to manage Mirror Lake at seven acres. You can take your kayak or canoe out there, you can fish. Uh, it's used it's huge. Other thing that some, another part that pe some people don't realize is Lobdale Reserve. It, I'm told, and I'm not a disc golfer, but I'm, I was told it's in the top three. Some of the other days said top five in the state of Ohio for disc golf. That's pretty impressive for, for Lobdale, which is west and north of Alexandria. Right as COVID started, we made a commitment to uh, remodel the James Bradley Center. It'll hold about 90 people inside uh, on the air conditioned climate control, 90 people on another side that's just screened in in the summer and uh, it has a plexiglass in the winter. Uh, it's not HVAC controls. If you get 150 people in there, used for weddings, or family reunions, class reunions, et cetera. Uh, one of the things that's been taken on my on my project list is mapping, and we're in the middle of a mapping project so we can get trails so that people can look on the internet and they can say, oh, I'm at, I'm at station number 17. If I go that way, it's 16 and it's 0.7 tenths of a mile. If I go this way, I'm a big hiker, and, and ODNR has done a fantastic job with the mapping to try to mimic that. One of the things that we've started here recently in the last two years is, is canoe and kayak access down off of Ohio Street at the Riverview Reserve. Uh, in 2016, we put in a kayak launch ramp. And uh, 2019, in the, in the fall, late of 2019, we put one in at Staten's Landing. We're trying to put one down in at uh, Brownsville Road, 668. Currently, we're still messing with that. And ODNR put one down at uh, Toboso. So if we get this middle one put in down at Brownsville Road, we want to try to get the Licking River designated as an Ohio River Trail. And so we've already met with ODNR two or three times on that. We just have some hurdles to go through. Uh, the, one of the other things I will give uh, those Rashley commissioners a lot of uh, credit for and the Licking County Planning uh, Office. Uh, they went through all of the hard work to get us a grant to buy, to get a grant to buy the new recreation preserve in the northwest part of the county. And uh, that's a key part of connecting the Ohio to Erie Trail that runs from Cincinnati to Cleveland. And this 1.2 miles, which is only about a quarter of a mile inside Licking County, it's right on the corner. Um, uh, we have already got the uh, grant put in place. The engineering is this close to being done is going to be bid out in January or February. And those folks that ride from uh, uh, Cincinnati to Cleveland are just happy to be like, I'll never make it that far, but it's really cool. One of the things we did with US Fish and Wildlife, another collaboration effort, was to get 32 acres of pollinated flowers and prairie grass. So when you ride through that 40 acre plot, it's going to be outstanding. In the budget for our proposed, I'm jumping ahead here just a little bit for a budget for if we are fortunate enough to pass our levy, 
I added two line items. And we all know about budgets and line items. And the two line items that I put in was once one was for municipal collaboration partnership projects, such as we just did with Newark in the last three years, and such as we do with Johnstown and uh, Granville and Pataskala and um, Keith, the city of Keith. And so we always said, what monies do we have left? And then we say, well, we'll help out Newark, we'll help out Johnstown, we'll help out Keith. Now it's we have a line item and we're going to use that. And that's because all the taxpayers in the city of work are paying into the to the levy for us. And so we want to pay some of that back to our partners. I work with the administration to de determine which projects that we can help with. And we've done that. So we've helped with Orange Hill, the paving uh, last year or this year um, slipped for the last three years. So we do that with many of our partners. We have 12 sites, and our feature park is in Farmer Mound. If you haven't been there, you're missing it. It's just an awesome park. It's got a prehistoric mound that's just about ready to have some interpretive signings. It's got um, uh, equestrian sand arena. It's got a grass arena for dressage for horses, which we haven't used that for a while. It's got a four acre dog park, which I was at twice this weekend. Um, horseback riding, hiking, um, ferry trail. If you haven't heard from the ferry trail, you don't have any grandkids because it just has gone, it's exploded. This was the fourth year for it. And uh, we have 1,500 pieces of ferry mail that need um, uh, responded to. So if there's anybody out there that likes to print off and then sign something personalized to all these kids, it's, it's 1,500 pieces. Bob Bale, as I already said, uh, it has uh, walking trails and horseback trails, uh, as well as the disc golf. And Taft Reserve is pretty cool. It's really three three distinct areas, but um, it's four. It's our largest park with 400 plus acres, and uh, where there are two uh, Hopewell Indian mounds out there. And so, I assume that we're going to get a designation as a World Heritage Site in Lincoln County sooner rather than later. I mean, that's been going on for 25 years, but I think it's just about ready to come there. We have cleared around the Tippet Mound. So if you go on our website, print a uh, map from uh, Taft Reserve, it'll indicate that it's worth going up because it's it's right out there and there's no doubt that it is a important way to get back. Uh, the other parks that we have are scattered throughout the county. The Riverview Reserve down here, I've worked with the administration on several occasions trying to figure out what we're going to do down there. Um, but we do have a canoe launch uh, uh, at that location, as well as uh, statins. And we have small little pocket parks scattered throughout. They're bigger than a little pocket park, but they're scattered throughout the county. And some are closed uh, by, and they're open to permit only visitors. And I'm working to get two of those open up for hiking trails. So last year, I said, you know, if we're going to be on this ballot, what are we going to tell people? What are we going to try to accomplish? And um, uh, what we're trying to accomplish is to take our facilities that we have, not add much to it, but take the facilities we have and bring them up to the highest level possible that we can. That includes the bike trail system and our park system. That's our facilities and all the things that we do. We have six people plus me. So we're trying to get, get ourselves set up that we can take care of. 46 miles of paved trails, 30 miles of natural surface trails with two maintenance people. And right now I have one. So I do a lot of tractor therapy on the weekend right now. What, what are we looking for? We're looking at a shelter house at Lawndale. We're looking at pit toilets. One of the things we found out with COVID was just amazing that we got so many compliments because we were supposed to change toilets three times a day with COVID. It's like, uh, we can't do that. So we, we hired a service to come in once a week and they sprayed it with some Clorox disinfectant solution, hosed it down, squeezed it out. I'm not a fan of pit toilets, but I'm telling you what, we got so many comments that toilets are so awesome. So we're going to put in some uh, additional pit toilets at Lobdale at the disc golf course because nobody likes to put jobs. You can out of pit toilets, but no put jobs. Uh, we're doing trail building at two of the parts that I told you about, the Reese Wildlife Reserve and the uh, Brown Reserve, which is 150 acres up far from half south. And we have a, a new employee through AmeriCorps, a service position, and she just graduated from Bowling Green, and she's helping 
our, our program uh, administrator, our environmentalist with our land management money for TAP. Where I, what we're going to do with those specific areas, uh, especially right around the tip of town, so that we'll be ready when we get a rural heritage site designation. You know, if, if you don't move forward, you, you, you can't stand still because you go backwards. So one of the things that uh, we brought in a consultant to give us a presentation on a nature playscape. It was in our strategic plan five, for the last five years, and we didn't act on that. He said, so I said, I want to know all about this. We've got a consultant coming in, paid $4,500, and he came up with this plan. I had three of my five board members said, eh, I don't know if I want a nature playscape. We're in the middle of nature. We have... 300 acres of nature. What do we need to do that? They, all bought, they had this presentation of 35 of them move forward with this plan. We are 95% finished with phase one. And again, it's a showstopper. It is a destination, phase one. So over the next four years, we anticipate finishing that. Uh, it, it's going to be awesome. So get a chance to go out and see that. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was our um, levy. And all I'm allowed to do is to state the facts. And we are currently funded by a quarter of one mil. And uh, we're asking for three eighths of one mil on the November 2nd ballot. It cost the homeowner $13.13 .13 per hundred thousand per year. So if you have a $300,000 home, it's 30 bucks. Um, with that, we're adding one half of one person on the maintenance side to help take care of our trails. The rest of it is for infrastructure improvements for bike trails and our facilities and the equipment to make sure that we can take care of those. So we're very cognizant of the fact that nobody wants to pay to grow an organization. They want to pay to get bricks and mortar. So I've, I've done a lot of grant writing in my past and bricks and mortar is what really people like to see. So sometimes it's hard to get everything accomplished that we want to get accomplished, but we, we have made that commitment for the next one. Uh, that's, that's about it. Now, where am I at on time? You're, you're pretty good, Richard. Okay, I don't, that way I don't have to do the popcorn, so I don't have it. They're close. I'm yeah. have to I'm, uh, do we have any questions? Welcome to the entertainment. I don't have any, but I, yeah, that's a question. Um, thank you for the presentation, it's really helpful. And um, personally, I love all the bike trails. and. Uh, I've, I've spent a lot of time on them, so great job about paving you guys have been doing. Um, wanted to mention you you talked about volunteers reporting issues. What's the best way if we get people reaching out to us about an issue on the bike trail or an issue at the park? Um, what's the best way to report that to you guys? Email. 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 You can either do it to direct, director at lickingparkdistrict.com or info at lickingparkdistrict.com. And I respond to all this. When it comes into my email, it doesn't go out of my email until I address it. So that's the best way. Phone calls are okay, but you know, I've got slips of paper like a lot of us all over the place, and they may get lost once in a while. But so an email doesn't go out until I do it somewhere else. Thank you. Yep. Any other questions? Question for Alex? Yeah, just a comment. Uh, uh, I'm in one of the block watch meeting, a group of next door neighbor, mm -hmm. and somebody had a comment there about the beautiful flowers on Route 16. Yeah, they're so pretty cool. Yeah, it's being noticed. It is noticed. Mr. Chairman, I just wanted to thank Richard. Well, thanks for coming in. Yeah. Uh, we probably have never had a better relationship with the Park District since Richard took over. I want to thank him and his staff and the board. And it, it is phenomenal, both inside of Newark and, of course, just outside, too. It's great for all of us. Yes. And uh, he has a little enthusiasm, do you think? <laughs> and that drives all the hard work and everything. So thank you very much. And, uh, you know, we're going to work hard to help you try to get your money. That's, that's important. So, thanks, thanks for coming. Uh, yep. All right. Next on the agenda is uh, resolution uh, number 2168. A resolution authorizing directing the director of public service for the city of North to advise for bids and enter into. Is that you, Mr. Rose? Construction In habit. Agreement with pathways of Central Ohio. Yes, yes, yes. I got it. Okay. Um, <laughs> John, I just wasn't sure which agreement yeah. was. Okay. Pathways of Central Ohio is a little bit up uh, Bryn Mawr Drive. So on the left hand side, behind pathways is a hill. And when it rains really, really hard, 
uh, we get a lot of runoff off that hill to the point where it's flooded their basement. I've been in contact with Pathways for, I'm going to say, three quarters of a year. We've entered into an agreement with uh, all surveying and we've had all that looked at. And we're getting costs to put up some type of wall back there to prevent that from happening. Uh, but we don't have the estimates back yet. We don't know what that number is going to be. And uh, what I'm looking for is the ability to enter into a contract and agreement to uh, help uh, pay for that wall, which would just cover the city's portion of the real estate we own. Motion. Second. Second. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Director Rhodes, so that's, this is just to cover the city's portion of the yes, retaining we're, wall. We're, we're not paying for the entire retaining so wall. Pathways, that's what's supposed Pathways to be. is, is right. and that's funding their share. Absolutely. And that's that's why we ask for the ability to negotiate with them on, on the portion of the work who's going to pay for it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Questions. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Okay. Passes about to zero. And with that, services. I will say one thing uh, we had the fire department bring the new ladder truck down. It's outside. Want to take a look at it? Yeah, uh, we'll have one more community meeting. Okay, after that one. Yep, just get you know. I think the capital improvements, right? Now. Yeah. Call this meeting of the Capital Improvements Committee to order. Those present are myself, Lang, Eudis, Fennell, Army in for Rath, and Blake in for Hall. Just one item on the agenda tonight. We've got Resolution 21-67, Resolution Authorizing and Directing the Director of Public Service to the City of Newark to enter into a lease purchase agreement with the National Park National Bank for the lease purchase of four lease cruisers for the division of lease. Director Rhodes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. About five years ago, we started uh, this process uh, new police cars kind of changed from car to, to kind of an SUV type vehicle, which worked out great. Uh, we are, this is part of the rotation. Uh, you have some paint off, then new will come on. We want to keep these uh, cars as, as new as possible, but we want to keep the rotation. So we have rotation. This is just part of that natural rotation. That's all. Any uh, questions or thoughts on the committee? Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Mr. Rhodes. Um, are we have we got gotten completely rid of the cars at this point? I don't believe so. Okay, so so we're replacing existing yeah, SUVs. No, these are replacing SUVs. These are replacing SUVs. Replacing SUVs. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. When I say I believe so, they might still have one or two cars wrapped. Right. Uh, but for the most part, the, yeah, the control is always SUVs. And when we went to the hybrid SUVs, when we're idling, yeah. we're not burning gas, so we are seeing savings in gas now. So, so these are these are actually hybrid, yeah, SUVs. Thank you. Uh, any questions or comments from the audience or from the committee? All right. All those in favor of sending this on full council, signify by saying aye. 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 All those same sign. At that.